right shoulder now coming into the finale. Will we see the triple from Kenworthy? He wants it! The Olympics single-handedly changed my life. Telluride's where I grew up. It's where my heart is, and every time I drive in, I just feel that sense of life here, my life. <laughs> Good girl. Proud of you, little buddy. Can't wait to come and visit you in New York. I know you need to. Dude, I can't wait to get out of this little box canyon. The whole town lives around the mountain in the ski area, and yet there had never been anyone who had gone to the Olympics from Telluride. I was the first person to do that and first person to win a medal, and so they were like, I don't know, like, stoked. <laughs> like, they were, they were really, very excited. This is incredibly overwhelming. I can't believe it. Um, thank you. It was amazing to see the support, but it was also hard because I felt like if they really knew me, if they truly knew me, that maybe they wouldn't be as supportive. Maybe they would be disappointed. Until that point, I had always thought that it was something I was gonna keep inside and never tell anyone until after my ski career and then I could have like a whole new life. I thought that it was gonna like isolate me. Like I thought I was gonna stop getting scored well at contests. I was gonna be like awkward to come home to my hometown. And it was just none of those things. You want some happy, happy Thanksgiving? Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Bobby, do you know where this dog came from? Yeah. It came from Russia. From Russia. Yeah, at the Olympics. <laughs> Last Olympics, I had no pressure on me. I wasn't a medal favorite. I was like a dark horse. Because I did come out and I did make this big statement. I feel like I want to prove myself now because of that.